I'm gonna open this video up with a question for you. I hope you've been studying. What do Fall Guys, Crab Game, Among Us, Goose Goose Duck, Fall Guys again, and soon to be Lethal Company all have in common? They're all dead. Like, really dead. But there's a lot of other dead games I didn't mention. Like, remember when Splitgate was a big hit for like two weeks? Yeah, me neither. The reason is because over the last three or four years, I've noticed a trend with a lot of these viral games. They're not just dying quickly, but half the time they're dying for almost the exact same reason. So in this video, I'm gonna look over some of these dead games and determine what caused each one's demise. And at the end, I'll talk about what they all have in common besides just not having a pulse. Now I know I've talked this game to death, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, and I'm also not gonna include any gameplay for the same reason. So Fall Guys initially blew up in August 2020 when it first released, died, briefly blew up again in June of 2022 and the game went free to play, and then it died again! Well, it's always fun to play a casual game like this with or without friends. The problem is in the core of the game design. Like I've said time and time before, people are eventually gonna get bored of basically playing a bunch of mini games over and over again. It also didn't help that the developers would be sitting around for a while before dropping a new season with like six new games max and it barely adjusted rotation. Now eventually Media Tonic added a creative mode, switched the monthly updates, and changed the rotation by a decent bit, but it was unfortunately too late, and now the game is once again dead. Well at least until Fortnite inevitably adds their own Fall Guys game, because that'll work just like the first two times, or the other crossovers they've done. But anyways, Fall Guys caused a death, repetitive gameplay mixed with a lack of substantial updates. I could have picked any game to prove this point, and I just had to pick Among Us. I'm not excited to talk about this game. Yeah, Among Us used no introduction. Everyone was playing it in late 2020, and its pure social deduction gameplay was perfect for everyone, gamer or not. And it was admittedly a lot of fun. Well, fun enough for me to have over 100 hours! I am so glad I did that. The problem is that social deduction is very fun, but it can only take you so far without new maps or gameplay changes. The developers spent a long time working on a new map to finally update the game when it was popular after months of nothing, just for it to end up sucking. Also, they did change the gameplay by adding a bunch of weird roles like shapeshifters and guardian angels. I mean, if you don't update the gameplay, people are gonna get bored. But if you do, then you're infringing on the entire appeal of Among Us. That being, it was simple and allowed for those you were playing with to shine. Honestly though, that wasn't even the main problem, especially since Intersloth is a small studio, so I'm cutting them slack. No, it was our fault. What do I mean by this? Well, imagine sitting down, oh boy, I can't wait to play Among Us, taking it seriously, and just not acknowledging all the brain rot that stemmed from this game. Anyways, before I get to the cause of death, I'm actually gonna play a couple rounds of Among Us and see what it's like today, because I have no standards on this channel. Alright, so here's the deal. I have one idea on how to make this actually fun, and it involves the engineer. Thankfully, there's two of them, so my chances are pretty good, but if I don't get engineer, it's not gonna be fun. Someone already left the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, this works too. Alright. Oh, okay, this is gonna be funny. Oh man, they found the guy. I mean, there's like 14 other people in this lobby, so if I just don't say anything, no one's gonna know. I think Brown killed. I agree, I think Brown killed too. He's a level 82! Dude, no, no, that's not even the worst one. There's a, someone is in the triple digits on Among Us. That is embarrassing. Yep, not a single person. Now, my name wasn't even brought up the whole time, so we're good. Um, What do I wanna do? Turn off the lights, shift, let's be this guy. Boom, all right, let's kill someone. Yeah, come for me. Yes! This is perfect! Oh, it's over. It's over for him. How did my teammate die? Did he leave the game? Okay, I didn't even realize I'm the only person. There's still eight people. I'm cooked. Yes! Oh, we are so back. We are so back. Oh, it doesn't even tell. Oh, that's perfect. They're all packed up together. How am I supposed to kill a single person? Oh, I can sabotage. No, it's not charged yet. Just give it a minute. Oh, I gotta do it quickly. Okay. Oh, two. Oh, two! Oh, I lost. All right, wonderful. Yeah, that wasn't fun. All right, let's find a new lobby. I'm so masculinity. We snarl 69. What a great name. Oh, we got a funny guy over here. He's definitely 12 years old. Ma at max. I I'm more masculine. I feel the test. What kind of a lobby did I join? Whimpers? Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're getting into some role-playing territory. I don't like this. All right, yeah, that is enough of that. We are not reading chat anymore. That red dot is very enticing, but we are not reading that. All right, I, I hope I get imposter only so I can put it into these weird people. Dude, what is my luck today? It's the third time in four rounds. Yes, please. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. No, let's just 
to it. You didn't see that. Well, I'm cooked. What if they just didn't see me? What if I just sit here? Let's just not open that. They can accuse me all I want. I refuse to open chat anymore. Oh, wasn't really looking at their color. Sweet! Hey, imposter, can you kill big melons? Gladly! That's what I want to do! See, I told you, just not saying anything is the strat. Because the person who reported was blind. They didn't- I walked quite literally through them and they did not see. Where's Rose? Hold on, where's Rose? Where's that weirdo? Hold on. Where are they? Oh, I can't really check with that. Ah. As soon as the light cooldown's done, I'm killing Rose. There she is. Go, go, it's my time. Aye, right, get back here! Yes, she's gone! Now she can't say anything for the rest of the round. This is great. No more role playing. Oh, oh no! Oh no, the weirdos! Oh, the wait, they're both dead! Yes! There's still 11 people left? Guys, it's generic. Trust me. Oh no, we've definitely got a Discord user. Oh, it's over. It's, it's, it's so over. Oh, oh, oh my! They did the Discord. The Discord council is deciding my fate. It's over. Yeah, that that's some Discord BS right there. Yeah, this is why you'd be like me and just play without friends. Yep, that's it. No, nope, no more. I'm done with this game. I'm never playing it again. 110 hours is 110 hours too much. I'm done. That was awful. That was truly awful. Anyways, Among Us is cause of death. Surface level gameplay, but mostly an awful, awful, awful community. All right, this one's gonna be short, so riddle me this. Why did Among Us on Wish get a peak player count of nearly a million? Actually, I know the answer. People like Social Deduction, like I just established, and also apparently BTS played the game, and their hordes of fans decided to play the game too. I really shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, this is pretty much an Among Us clone, so you'd think it had demise for the exact same reason as Social Deduction getting repetitive, but no. Okay, I'm in the middle of typing the script, but I just noticed this. How is this game averaging thousands of players today? Peak players 24,000 in the last 30 days. Who is playing this game? You know what? You know what's frustrating? You know what's really frustrating? I downloaded this game with my friends as a joke back in June 2021. I had under a thousand players. I missed the wave! I missed the wave! Look at these player counts. Uh, okay, I just wanted to get that out there. This is insane. Okay, so never mind then. Someone bury this game alive because somehow, some way, it's one of the most popular games on Steam. I know Lethal Company isn't dead yet. Far from it, actually. But its grave has already been dug. It's just in the testing stage right now with new updates. This game is interesting to me because the gameplay, while certainly a little repetitive after a while, makes what's advertised as a horror game into a comedy to the likes of which I haven't seen from a game in who knows how long. Uh, what did you guys order? Oh, no! <laughs> Wait, he died? No! No! But because of that slightly repetitive gameplay, people were bound to move on, most of which already have. And once your friends move on, you will too, because playing by yourself changes the entire vibe of the game. While it can still be fun playing by yourself, it goes against the very recipe for this game's success, which is proximity chat and multiplayer experiences. The gameplay is fine, but it's carried by the interactions you have with your friends. Now, I'm not trying to dunk on this game at all. Lethal Company was made by one guy after all, and he's done a great job. I'll even say that when the game was popular, he was still hard at work adding new, if minor, additions to the game, so it's not due to a lack of support. But unfortunately, people moved on already, and I just don't see this game blowing up again anytime soon. Maybe a few years down the line with some updates, and if the price is lowered or it just goes free to play. But until then, I think it's safe to say that Lethal Company is going to get hooked up to life support pretty soon. So before I move on to the next segment, here are some highlights from a recording with me and my friends from December that I never got the chance to upload. Oh, and fair warning, this was back when I was still using my garbage mic, so you can't say I didn't warn you this time. Grayson, don't, don't let, don't, don't, don't. Come to Papa. Grayson, I don't think you want to repeat the same mistake. What did you guys order? Grayson's trying to lure it in. Oh, oh. Give it to me! Oh, be careful, Where are be you? careful, be careful. What do you mean, be careful? Oh, there it is. Water down there. No, Grayson, no, not again. Did he just no! die? No! 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 Stuck with Dylan. All right, there's some walkie talk. Eric, uh, take me over walkie talkie. Ow! Ow! That hurts. Wait, <laughs> wait, it does. Yes. <laughs> Don't do it again, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, 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 I call, I call for a truce. Let's just, let's not talk to him for a little bit. Let's wait like five minutes and then talk. 
What the fuck is that? As soon as he like <laughs> finds your body, we have to vote for the ship to leave. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What was that? No, no, what no. Next game, Grayson. That? Oh, what the fuck? What? Is that? What the? What the? <laughs> what is that? Oh my God! What is that? I don't have a single thing, guys. You don't have anything? Well, it, if only we had some money to order. Oh wait, flashlights are on sale. <laughs> that was a quick switch up. Oh yeah, I came, I came in here and then I came back because I. Ah! Grayson. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Grayson, Grayson, Were Grayson. Were you the clicking I heard earlier? I, I, I got spooked when left because I heard a clicking sound. Grayson, it's time. What? How long have you been here? Did you not notice me fucking gone? I know we know we didn't know where you were. <laughs> I killed him! <laughs> oh my what? god. What is that? It's the, it's the monster. It's the monster. Can they hear my voice? Yes. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck. It sees us. We gotta you go. let it right fuck you to us. You, let, you motherfucker, Eric. Eric you I didn't even mean to. Eric, fuck you. Eric, you fuck you. I'm dead. I'm going to die. So with that out of the way, Lethal Company's eventual and inevitable demise, repetitive gameplay once again, but honestly, given the premise of the game, I don't think there's anything that could have prevented this. The new update with the robot moon is pretty fun though. Please play it if you have not already. Before I get to the end of the video, I want to quickly talk about a few honorable mentions that I didn't want to make whole segments on. First up, Crab Game. This was fun for a week. It was just a surface level Fall Guys clone, so replayability is slim, but it was made as a joke in a week, so who really cares? Next up, Who's Your Daddy? That is a throwback for the ages. Only real ones remember this game. It was super fun based on personal experience, but it relied more on multiplayer interactions than the gameplay itself, so it died fairly quickly. And lastly, we have Helldivers 2, which shouldn't even be on this, but I'm only putting it here because it was removed from the Steam store. Thanks, Sony. You're the best. Anyway, sorry for the tangent, but I just wanted to mention these games because I guarantee you have not heard the names Crab Game or Who's Your Daddy in years. So why did all these formerly viral games die so quickly and never recover? As I've mentioned with each game in each segment, while the multiplayer aspects made it entertaining to watch and a blast to play, the repetitive and often surface level gameplay doesn't entice players to keep coming back once the next trendy game comes out. Look at Fall Guys, that game got eviscerated because Among Us blew up not even a month after. The reason games like Minecraft or Fortnite survived this viral craze was because of constant updates and an infinitely replayable game loop. But for most of these games, they were made with the goal of making us all have a little more fun playing with other people and not necessarily being regarded as some of the greatest games of all time. And even if they ended up in the states that they are today, I'd say that not one of these developers regret it. Thanks for watching.